Cola, proud SAG member here striking in solidarity with the WGA. I think this is overdue. You know, we all deserve a fair deal, and I think the power of the people will always win. SAG has now joined us as of last week. Yes, and our, sister union. our sister union, SAG AFTRA. And we are all out here for fair wages against the big greedy corporations. The studios want to turn writers into basically gig workers, which is great. A lot of people live uh, in working gigs, but the point of the guild is to prevent that. And so that's why we're, we're standing in solidarity with our SAG brethren and sistren. It's it's so, can I, can I curse? <laughs> it's so up that the studio execs are just out here not caring about simple basic human rights. We are supporting on behalf of not just our industry, but many industries, not just our creative sort of community, but other communities here and the world over. We're just striking because like, we want uh, fair wages. We're, we're striking for the writers as well. We're striking for, you know, just there's there's just been so many changes with new media and stuff, and I feel we feel like the structure needs to be changed. When new media came out, the contracts were so because nobody really knew what was going on, but things have changed, and the fact that we are unable to live off the residuals that we're working on, all these films and most projects are now going to streamers. It's it's just not the same anymore. And it's a bit unfair because now everything is going up in price. No one's uh, surviving on just the residuals that we're getting off these things. Like 98% of other actors, uh, I don't make a living off of acting. Although I feel like that's kind of the idea that we've all been sold and told that we can do and achieve. Um, and that's just not possible right now. The math just isn't there no matter how you feel about unions, how you feel about people, how you feel about a striking. The numbers aren't there. I myself, I worked on a show for four seasons. It's a streaming show. Haven't seen a dollar of residuals. We won't see a dollar of residuals. And it's, it's unfair, especially given the social climate, the financial climate of this place. What we're working off agreements that are over, that are decades old, that, that haven't been updated to reflect the new reality of where we are with streaming, of where our work weeks, our work days, the amount of work that's offered, how much we're compensated, all those things are outdated. So all we're asking is to come to the table and talk about it and see if we can come to uh, an equitable solution to the problem. The problem with you know the acting community is that majority of the people think of us as like rich people, like Tom Cruise and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it's a blue collar profession. And you know, and, and that, it, that, that reality is usually distorted by an image of, you know, this actor who makes millions. Most of us don't. And why are actors complaining? You're all getting paid millions. I'm like, do you understand what percentage of actors actually make those millions? Very few, 96% of us can't make a living. You know, and that's what we're striking for. We're not striking for the millionaire A-list celebrities that everybody thinks we're striking for, but we gladly, we love their support. You know, they're out here with us. But we're striking for the other 96% that can't make a living, that can't pay their rent and put food on the table for them and their families. So I want, you know, the general public to understand that. In order to qualify for health insurance, uh, it's $26,000 a year and 87% of actors don't qualify for that. I wish that more people had, had empathy for uh, for the cre for creativity, for creative jobs, because I think people think once you make it on a TV show or once you make it big, your name is credited on something that you're set, and it's really not like that. You really have to keep working. I will say this, you know, uh, AI definitely. I mean, there's some there's some uh, verbiage in these contracts and clauses that are kind of terrifying. Uh, in one in one contract that I was talk that I was looking at, they said they can use my likeness and all this stuff in any universe. They threw the multiverse in there, and so I was like, okay, this is a bit uh, a bit sketch. They're using our likeness, they're using our work that's already out there, and uh, it's just fair wages, um, compensation for things that we've already done, uh, sustainability, AI, yeah. Regarding AI, they want to pay extras who are sometimes in a place of less knowledge, um, less opportunity, uh, less placement, so less prosperity financially from this industry. They want to pay extras for a half a day of work to use their image and likeness forever in, in AI. Now when you think about that, I mean, 
I, I hate to make a reference back to some days when we were selling other human beings, but like that's that's devaluing a human being's life big time. I know AI is trying to like clone background and just use it for years to come. I started as a background actor, so that's very personal to me because those background checks is how I survived LA. So that's really why you know we need to get paid for our talents and not just have the executives, the people who think they're doing a lot of things, take it from us, the people who are writing and acting. And we have a lot of friends who are in both you know, acting world and writing world, some who are, are doing both just to survive as well. You know, I think of my friend um, who has written some amazing shows on Disney Channel, but is still not paid uh, a, a livable wage. And yeah, we, we fight for them. And also, you know, we're actors as well. So we want to fight for for everything that we can here and, and make sure that we get a fair deal. I think that it's very important to show our support, number one. Number two is to fight. I have a little sister, she's also in the industry. And it's to fight for them. It is to fight for adult actors who I know who are struggling. It's just, it's just important to be out here. And even if you're not a part of SAG or not an actor, you should still be out here showing your support. I've heard cars like drive by honking in support. And it's just, we all need to come together. I hope people understand that this is just the beginning of a lot of um, interference with AI. Uh, we're just the tipping point, we're where the rubber meets the road, but um, we're one of many different um, career paths that you can take that are going to be affected by this. The fact that we're at the station of change and moments like this are where we look back in history and find out do we stand together? or did we all go our different ways? Today it feels like we're all standing together and that's a really exciting time to be here.